Yo, what's going on, my sexy semi squad? I'm going to play Bastet. We are going to have fun, and that's the end of that. I don't know why I did that. Hey, what's up, boys? Uh, I'm playing Bastet today because I always perma ban Bastet, and I do get comments like Sam. Why do you permaban Bastet? You always call her a pub stomp god, but you're in ranked, which is in a pub, which means obviously there's no reason to ban Bastet. You're just kind of proving yourself wrong. I do think she's a pub stomp god. I'll admit. <clears throat> okay, I say that all the time. But I think in duel, like in a one-on-one -on -one situation, she's just amazing. Like, like just so good she has a built-in soul eater a lot of people don't know that about her she's just straight up built-in soul eater uh let me show you so i'm not lying you get uh five plus 0.5 percent so at level 20 you have 15 percent um ability lifesteal and you have normal lifesteal on your auto attack so you basically have a soul eater it's five percent less but you know same thing really so you have a built-in Soul Eater at level 20. And then you can get Soul Eater on top of it. And then you can get the, the Lifesteal Yoans on top of that. And you are just absolutely sustained. Like, you are so incredibly sustained, it's absurd. Now, with that being said, why do I call her a Pub Stomp God? Well, because in games where there is many, many characters, like, uh, you know, 5v5, Slash, Arena, Assault, Conquest, shit like that, I do consider her pub stomp. I think, you know, pub stomp in the case that you can pick out one person and kill them over and 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 over until eventually you're big enough to just win the game. You have stomped one noob into the ground to get yourself ahead of everybody else. That's what pub stomp means. In duel, you only have one enemy. And that enemy, by the way, not necessarily a noob, but he can't defend himself against you jumping in and out, you know? Like, he can defend himself from either your two or your one, but not both, which makes Bastet very strong. And I feel like a lot of people just don't really understand the strength of her, because you guys see me permaban her all the time, like I said in the, in the intro. And uh, I don't think I've ever showed her off other than in a Try Hard Thursday. But, you know, Try Hard Thursdays are nice and all. But they're not the real duel, right? That's like me actually try harding when I'm already... I, I mean, I'd like to say pretty good at duel. So I just want to show you like a normal Bastet game. Where I'm not necessarily building the greatest. I'm kind of memeing. I'm kind of dookie in, you know? I'm, do I'm doing what it is that I normally do. And you can see, it's pretty cracked. Like, not me. I'm actually not that great at Smite. But Bastet can just do whatever the hell she wants. Not to mention, your cat blocks two auto attacks. And most of the time, you're up against hunters. So your cat can block a lot of damage. A lot more than you'd expect during a fight, probably. I don't actually know what you guys expect during a fight. You can also use your cat like I just did to group the wave up. Just want to make sure I'm getting these last hits. This trans. Nice, my two hit. Look at that damage. My guess is he's probably going to try to steal this with his alt or something. I'm going to send my cat out to distract him and full commit. Ouch. Kill? Oh, no, dude. It was so close. Oh, my God. I'm going to miss so many stacks here. Cringe. I'm assuming you're not getting your blue buff. Yeah, you would probably have died had you gone for it. So I will take your blue. Just kidding. I have red buff on. And he doesn't have beads or alt. Because last time I ulted he beads it. So I should be able to. 
just alt him and kill him. I will need my my two up to kill him though. Nice. Hit him with the two, root him in there, jump on him, pow, pow. Big murder. Big murder, baby. Big murder. Alright, minions are grouped up. My two clears them. We'll grab the 6P camp. And you can see just how controlling this god is. Also, for some reason, your cat doesn't really take damage from the XP camps. She takes damage. Well, I call it a she. I don't know. I just assume it's a she because Bastet is a she. I don't know. Honestly, it doesn't matter. What matters is it doesn't take damage from XP camps. As you can see, it does take damage from buff camps. So you can throw it in. Like, even if you have one HP, you can throw it into the buff camp and, like, just be fine doing it. Even at one HP. It's pretty obscene. And three levels ahead. This is why you ban Bastet, man. This is the whole reason I make this video. I permaban her because I personally do not enjoy playing her. If I enjoyed playing her, I would just pick Bastet every game. But, um... Yeah, I mean, that's why. I do expect to see many more Bastets in my games because of this video. Or I guess you guys should expect it. I'm still going to permaban her, so <laughs> I'm not really going to affect me. But, um, ow. Dude, look at that damage, though. You're telling me that's fair? I suck. Your blue spawn soon. Hello. And you're dead. Jesus. Jeez Louise. Okay. I don't know, man. I don't know what to tell you. I feel like I need to do more of these videos. Like one with Hoi Yi and one with like Scotty and Uller. Just to remind you guys. Well, maybe not with Scotty and Uller. I think you guys understand those. But like just to remind you why certain gods are banned. It minions didn't take tower that kind of infuriates me are you here get that tower down come on nice i expected them not to take it which is why i doubled back hello Throw the throw the cat out there to group up the minions so my tier my two full clears. My tier. Boop, boop. Come here. Oh, you really do not want to fight me, my guy. And that should be Phoenix. Okay, I completely lied to you. It's not even close to Phoenix. Is your speed buff up? It is. Oh god, wait. He has an ult. Uh-oh. Please don't ult. I'm cringe. Cringe! Oh, he got tanky. He got tanky. Alright. I do have 3k gold in hand, so... I suppose it makes a little bit of sense as to why I'm not doing as much damage as I was. Uh, bitches hit me. Oh, he didn't hit me. Okay. I don't know how he knew I said that, but... I guess he's just better at the mental than I am. Dude, I'm 3k gold up. Huh? Huh? Don't even come over here. Get him, cat. 33. Let's go. 
Uh, you have no life steal, so you don't scare me. I'm gonna go Heart Seeker, and then I'm gonna go into uh, Hydras. I'm just gonna get incredible power. There's no way he's doing bold demon, right? He wouldn't disrespect me like that. Uh, does your ult do damage to minions? Oh, would you look at that? It does. I didn't know that. <laughs> Alright, my assumption is he's under Phoenix. I think it's pretty safe to assume that. I'm just gonna full commit. Tier 1 yo ends. Where is he? Wait, but... I was hiding behind the wall. So I could get my minion wave. Alright, alright. Oh my gosh, dude. I'm pretty sure I can just beat you up. Too much damage, dude. Too much damage. Um, fuck. Dude, I'm not good at Bastet at all. <laughs> Yo, that hit him. <laughs> Ouch. Jeez, dude. I can just fight him. Like, it, I know that sounds stupid when I say that, but... Like, down... With, with 2,600 gold in hand, I can still just walk up and be like, ah, oh, sorry, I've decided to win this fight. I missed my three. Get him, cat. That's what I mean about the cat blocking, by the way. It's so OP. It is so OP. And this, my friends, is GG. Just under a 12 minute game, a 13 minute recording. Pretty insane. I mean, it's exactly what I wanted to do, honestly. If this video was over 15 minutes long, it would be a complete failure for me. My goal was to show off why I banned Bastet, why you guys should also ban Bastet, and just how good her passive is. People don't understand it. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, y'all, peace.